guys and welcome back to my channel it's princess renny here and i hope you're doing well um if you are new to the channel don't forget to click the subscribe button below and also click on the bell button so that you're always notified whenever i post a new video if you are one of my subscribers thank you for coming back and rocking with me today's video i'm going to be showing you guys um a deep conversation with me it's one of my newest series that i'm starting here on the channel where i'll be deep conditioning my hair and then i'll also be having some deep conversations therefore deep conversations get it all right anyways so let's get right into the video you guys are gonna see how i deep condition my hair hi guys and welcome 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 today i will be doing a deep conditioned with me or deep conversations with me it's really corny but <laughs> um you guys will be able to see how i deep condition my hair how i detangle my hair with the deep conditioner in it and then we're also going to do a little talk through about like hair about life and about many different topics al organics um it's the rosemary mint strengthening hair mask infused with biotin and encourages growth so that's what we'll be using today and I've never tried this before, so I'm really excited to try it. It definitely smells like mint and rosemary. The rosemary is very strong. I don't, I don't really like the scents together. I feel like it should have had a little bit more mint. Let me try out what it feels like. Ooh, it is very, very thick. Very thick. You see that? Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out. I'm going to wash my hair and then I'll be back when I'm ready to apply it. And then we're going to start a little conversation. Oh, it's not that hard to say anymore. Deep conversation. All right. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is what my hair is looking like straight out. Ooh, is this? Uh, I always have shampoo, like a little bit of shampoo left somewhere in the back, like somewhere in the part of my hair. Is that a lot? Actually, no, not a lot. What about back here? So. The conversation that I actually want us to talk about today is, of course, about natural hair. And as I'm doing my hair, um, we'll have that conversation. I'm just going to go ahead and, um, ooh. I really don't like this smell. Like, I'm trying to, you know, move past it, but I really don't like it. It doesn't smell good, but I'm not going to judge it until I try it because you never know. It might surprise you and it might actually work really, really nicely. So. We're going to push through, we're going to try it. I actually think I'm going to put this part up into its own little ponytail. Because that's going to make my life easier. So what I want to talk about is um, natural hair gurus or natural hair like YouTubers and influencers and stuff like that. Because um, I feel like a lot of the videos that I've seen since I've decided to become natural um because i was watching a lot of videos before i made this decision like i like to be well informed before i make like a life-changing decision so like i was watching video after video after video and based on those videos that i've seen they made like being natural look so amazing and like the one thing about naturals when you decide to like you decide to make that transition you have like this image in your head right based on whoever you were watching or whatever you're like oh my hair is gonna be bomb it's gonna have all these twists it's gonna look like hers or his or whoever you're watching um so like we always have like this kind of idea like okay i'm gonna be natural i'm gonna do it that's how i want my hair to look and i've been guilty of that because like when i was transitioning i saw like the roots of my hair were kind of like wavy and i was like oh i wonder what kind of curls i'll have and i was like really feeling it. i was like I'm gonna have curls like her. I'm gonna try all the hairstyles that she's doing and stuff. And it's just like, <laughs> you become natural. And it's like, oh, like my hair doesn't look like hers. My hair doesn't look like 
curl the way hers curl. My hair is not as like smooth or, you know, I don't have the same ringlets or def definition as she does or the volume or whatever. So like then you start comparing and you start to like wonder like is natural hair a scam? Like what is it? And then, um, like, I know a lot of natural hair YouTubers or even, like, influencers on Instagram, and, like, they've even, like, shown how they edited their pictures. Like, I have, I'm not going to call names, but then again, there's, like, no shame in her game. Like, she shares, like, this is the before and this is the after, like, what's in real life and what you get on Instagram. And she kind of, like, showed how she, like, filled in those spaces in her hair. So her hair has a lot of like definition, but naturally, like when you do a puff, some people, like for me, you see my puff right here, I have like all the spaces, but like for some girls, all this is rounded, it's filled in, they don't have like the thin look on the two sides, if you guys can see that. Um, I think she had a fro out and she had like the spaces kind of like this. So like she like used this app to like copy, basically it's like a copy and paste kind of method, it's not called that, but basically she like filled in those little patches that were missing. And I was just like, you can do that with your natural hair? I'm over here like admiring your hair. Like, oh my gosh, I wish my hair looked like that. I wish my hair had all that fill in definition and stuff. And you over here like catfishing your hair. I mean, no shame in her game. She showed us how to do it. I just haven't done that because I feel like my hair it's not uniform all over it. Like, there's no copying and pasting in a different section. Like, y'all would see it and y'all would know. The only thing that I've ever done to my hair is the same thing that I do to all my pictures, which is, like, um, making everything more, like, vibrant and, like, more, like, pop. Because, like, my background is more blurry and then I look more, like, defined overall. So that's the only thing I've really done when it came to, like, my hair. Oh, no, I lied. One time... There was a picture that I took when I went to Cancun and my hair, I had um, I had clip-ins and so the style that I did, a part of my hair was sticking out and I just kind of like quote unquote erased that. So like that counts, I guess. But yeah, that's the only thing I've done. Um, by the way guys, I'm detangling my hair as I am putting the deep conditioner in because this is the first and last time I'm detangling my hair. I like to deep condition my hair and detangle it, or when I'm doing my regular conditioner, I detangle my hair. That way the whole styling process is so much easier. By the way, can we just admire this growth though? This is after I like trimmed my hair a few months back, so. Yes, yes, yes girl. I feel like this is coated enough. So we're gonna move on to the next section. Yes, definition, okay. My lash and go might come out really cute. So yeah. And then for me, I have days where, oh my gosh, my hair does not want to cooperate with me at all. Like, you would think, oh my gosh, these products work so well. Last time, I'm going to do the same method that I did before. My hair is really tangled. But yeah, I'm going to do the same method that I did before, and it's going to work out, yada, yada, yada. You try it, you're really excited. And then, you know when you put in the first set of products and your hair just starts to feel like really weird and you're like, oh, this might not work. You know, you start doubting it. Have you ever had that? Yeah, I've had that. Well, I'm just like, I know this product is not going to work. Like I had my friend over the other day and I was trying to record a video and I was like, girl, I just tried it in this section. I can feel it. It's not going to work. And she's like, well, you never know. You should try. You should keep trying. I'm like. Girl, I know my hair at this point, it's not gonna work. And so like to humor her, I tried it and I was like, yep, see, it was a fail. So I'm like, I'm putting my hair in a puff. And I was trying to do a wash and go with, I think it was a Diva Curl Archangel Gel. You guys know Diva Curl don't work for my hair. <laughs> so it didn't work out. And so I was just like, um, yeah, I'm just gonna put this into a little puff. Like it allowed me to like, going section by section and put gel. So now I should just be able to like, whoop, put it all together. That's what I did. Like, I was like, nope, this is not gonna work. I'm not sharing this video. It's a fail. I told you it would be a fail. Like, yeah, it was one of those. But let's think about it this way. You being a natural hair influencer or YouTuber and you have a certain deadline, like you have to record this video, you have to share this product, um, or maybe it's like a new product that's out 
and like the sooner you post it the sooner you get like more views and stuff um this is not really a youtube how to but it's just a little you know this like background information so like the sooner you post a video on a new product the more views you'll have because like there won't be that many videos um out there on it so people are more likely to also catch your video um and like let's say it doesn't work out you don't like how the product came up or whatever then you have to go back and re-record that whole thing all over again or you have to like let's say it's a picture for instagram you have to like edit it like there's time when my hair would have flakes in it and i'm like oh my gosh like i'm looking at the camera and it looks amazing right because i did my hair on the camera like i didn't go close up to the mirror to see how my hair looks and there's times where i'm like done editing and like loving up on my hair and stuff and i'm like this has flakes can people see that my hair has flakes in it i've had that with one of my wash and goes where i was like really feeling the wash and go and i was like oh no people can probably tell that i had flakes in my hair and you couldn't tell i don't know if it was the lighting i don't know if it was like my position like how far away i was from the camera but yeah, I was like, um, I'm just going to keep this in and tough through it because I'm home. <laughs> you know, I'm working from home, so I'm just going to tough through it. I have other videos I have to edit and record. Like, yeah, I'm just going to keep it. So I've definitely had those moments as well where it's just like it's really hard, I feel like, as a natural hair YouTuber slash influencer. Um, not saying I am one, like I'm not on that level, but I definitely like – empathize with them <laughs> like i know the pain i know the struggle um you know i'm a small youtuber so i'm not like necessarily there the demand is not as high but i still have videos i have to put out you know for you guys so that's like just something that's been like in my mind lately like why do people fake it because a lot of people like if you're like me you like to do your research you really want to be well informed and you want to make sure you're getting the right amount of information but if people are faking their natural hair journey, faking their growth, um, I know there's people that take like hair growth pills and they don't want to share that they're taking hair growth pills. They're just like, oh yeah, it's my genetics. Or, oh yeah, I just really take care of my hair. Like you take care of your hair, but you also add supplements. And supplements is another way that you can take care of your hair as well. Um, like, you know, the biotin vitamins and stuff. Speaking of, this deep conditioner has biotin in it and it has something else. Hold on. Oh, it just says infused with biotin and then, oh my gosh, allergies. This rosemary is making me like, feel like sneezing. Um, but yeah, so it's infused with biotin and it encourages growth. So like, yeah, you can take care of your hair and like add the biotin supplements and pills or whatever and let your hair grow and be proud of it. Like you are taking care of your hair. You know how much work it is to remember that you need to take a vitamin every single day Yo, <laughs> it's a fail for me. I've tried it so many times that I just like, I've stuck to like my hair growth oils and whatnot because it's just, it's just easier. I don't have to put hair growth oil in my hair every single day. Um, I can put it in every two to three days or whatever. And that's just easier for me. So yeah. One section is complete, finito. And then what I like to do after I, like go through, make sure that my entire strand of hair is detangled. I go and get more product and I do the prayer hand method just to make sure that the entire set of hair is coated. And I'm sorry you guys are seeing all my hair falling out, but it's been a while since I detangle it. I had it in that bun for like maybe a week and a half. And even before that, I didn't fully detangle it because I was just being lazy. Shameful plug. So we're just gonna do that. Do that. Yes, this should have just been a wash and go all together. <gasps> Look at those curls. I know y'all see that. What? No, but for real. I know you see this. All right, detangle real quick. <laughs> I know y'all see this. Look at that. Those curls. Yes, juicy, juiciness. Juicy, juiciness. Hey, juicy, juiciness. Okay. <laughs> I'm obviously being really annoying, <laughs> but I do have really bad allergies, so anything that comes out is a little plant, and I know this organic and real rosemary because, ooh, 
my sniffles are coming. It's real. We'll be right along to the next section. Oh, I love this. I love it. Love it. All right, now let me guys show, let me show you guys the difference. So this is my hair without any product in it, fully dried. This is the definition that we have going on. Here's my hair with product in it. And all the definition we have going on. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so yeah, that's basically <laughs> for that part of the hair. And so now, so in the conversation of like natural hair content and stuff, I felt like personally, I didn't want to make a YouTube channel. And I've spoken about this before. I didn't want to do it because people were always, they were always like, oh my gosh, you just talk about your hair. What do you do to your hair? How did you make your hair grow so fast? What's going on? You know, and then people just wanted to know like what I've been doing with my hair. So I would, I would like tell them, like I would respond like, hey, I do this, that, and the other. If it's like a long like explanation, I would just record my voice and like send them a voice note. I've been doing that a lot. And I felt like that was okay. Like, hey, I'm giving you the tips. You're good. And <laughs> then it was to the point where it was like, okay, fine. I'll do like IGTV quick videos and show you guys some stuff. But my hair was super heat damaged at that point. And I was like, why am I playing myself? Like, I need to make a better decision and like really take care of my hair. So I was like, okay, fine. I'm already doing these videos. I might as well just put them on YouTube. Like, why put in all that effort just to put a five minute video on Instagram when you have all this content you could just put on YouTube? So I was like, all right, I guess I'm gonna do it. But I don't want my channel to be the same as like every other natural hair channel. So of course, that's when, you know, I talk about my faith, I talk about lifestyle, and I talk about all these other topics. But um, then I was like, okay, so I'm talking about natural hair. What makes my natural hair journey or my story different, right? Let me make sure I'm focusing and doing this at the same time. So like I would ask people like, oh, what do you guys want to see? Like, what do you want to know about in regards to like my hair? And it gets to the point where you feel like it's such an oversaturated like place, YouTube, um, because everyone's talking about what seems to be like the same thing, like how I wash my hair, how I deep condition my hair, yada, yada, yada. And you're just like, okay, what? Why do you want me to do that? Like, there's a video I can recommend to you. Trust me, I've seen it all. <laughs> um, I can recommend it to you on this topic or whatever. But I feel like everyone has their own unique voice, right? And it's not me trying to sway you one way or another if you're thinking of making a YouTube channel. But it's just like, for me, it was like everyone has a unique voice. Your hair is different. Um, your story may be different. Even though, like, you might have similarities with another YouTuber, it, you're still gonna be different and people know you like that's the major difference they actually know you they don't know these other influencers so like they're more likely to listen to what you're saying about your hair because maybe they've seen you in person and they know like her hair was like this short because like trust me my hair was here for like the longest especially when I was like relaxed my hair would go a little past it and then I would obviously cut it or trim it and then it would just keep staying right here but um, since I've done my big chop last year, my hair has definitely like grown back to where it was and past that within a year. So I feel like my story, my tips, my recommendations, not only am I telling you like I recommend this or you should do that, but I'm also like doing it. Like if I don't deep condition my hair, I'll make sure that you guys know and I'll most likely like do something to make up for that lost time. Like right now, I told you guys it's been a week and a half, actually a little more than that because I didn't deep condition my hair when I took out that other style that I had. But for me, I feel like, like I know what my hair wants. Like it's taking this deep conditioner and it is soaking it up. Like my hair is like, yes, finally quenching my thirst. But my hair is not unhealthy. Like it's not at the point where it's like, You've been deprived of deep conditioner for so long. You were drying to death and you were breaking off. Like, all this hair that's coming off, it's dead hair. Like, it's not even the tangles because I'm um, detangling with my fingers, so I'm taking my time. So this is all, like, hair that has already been falling, you know? So, yeah. My guard. Sometimes it's hard to find content that you feel like people that subscribe to your channel will be interested in only because, like I said, YouTube is oversaturated. But 
that shouldn't discourage you from like choosing whether or not to talk about that topic because again your story is different and it's unique and it's you you know so like that was something that I've like been battling with for a while because I'm like that was the main reason I'm like I don't know if I want to have a YouTube channel everybody's talking about natural hair but at the same time does everyone's hair look the same no and I want to be real like I want to make sure that when I'm coming onto this like platform like you guys are seeing me as is like I have on no makeup this is how I look when I'm doing my hair and you guys just happen to be here with me in my little living room area space well kind of sort of in my living room but not really um but you guys are here with me and you see all oh, straight out the shower this is how I look I don't have on makeup who has on makeup when they come out of the shower like no I'm not that person okay I'm just not so um yeah you guys are seeing this utter realness and I that's a lot of feedback that I've gotten from people they're like I just love how real you are like you just come out you're just like this is it like you get what you get and I don't try to glamorize my natural hair or glamorize how I look because trust me honey when I switch up it's real okay <laughs> like I can get glammed up and all that stuff but at the same time I feel like there's younger girls that are looking and they want to know like what their hair could potentially look like if they were to take care of it or if they were to do certain styles and whatnot and I want to make sure that I'm showing them like yo sometimes this wouldn't work out like sometimes you might not like a product Sometimes you, you'll get flakes in your hair. It's going to be really annoying, but just push through. Now you know not to try that combination again. Now you know this doesn't work for you. Now you know that your hair straight out the shower might not necessarily be fully defined. Like when I first came out, you guys saw the definition. When my hair dries, it's like, what happened? <laughs> like who beat you up? What happened? Like the curls are for the most part gone. And this is just frizz. So that's what happens with my hair. And it's natural, it happens. Not everyone's hair is gonna stay defined when it's wet and then even when it dries, it stays curly. Ugh, if only. <laughs> but it's okay, like I love my hair and I love what it does. And I love when I put in product and it's just like, girl, yes. We want more of this, yes, girl. So as you guys can already tell, my hair is loving this product. Like absolutely loving it. I wish you guys could come and like feel this right now. Cause look, this already shrunk up. It's loving it. Even if you're not sure about your content, like, so what if that's already out? Like, go ahead and post it. Like, you put in all that work to record this video, and I'm talking to myself right now. Like, I put in so much work to, like, record videos, and then I second-guess it because I'm like, oh, it's too late. Like, no one's talking about this topic anymore. Or, I don't like how it came out, so, like, I'm embarrassed. I'm just going to re-record it. I could re-record it, but then I could also show you guys, like, yo, it didn't work out. And maybe I'll try it differently. Or like I could judge myself like, oh, I, this is the moment I knew I messed up. And this is like ideas that I already have in my mind for some of my much, much older videos. Like why waste the content? Like you obviously had an intention or an idea in mind when you sat down and you decided to record. So like why waste it, you know? So like, that's really my mindset these days. I'm like, I have so much content and I really want to be uh, consistent. And make sure that I'm posting out videos because trust me, I record a lot. I take a lot of pictures. I'm just like really like in front of the camera often. I just feel like I really like look into those videos or those pictures and I second guess myself and I'm like, maybe they might not like this. Maybe I shouldn't post this. Um, and that shouldn't be the case, you know? So we're starting back over <laughs> right here in September consistent content and I really want to continue with it because I'm actually working from home as of right now I'm working from home until 2021 so I can make it work I can make it work yes I can yo this is how I am okay I was just like if I'm in my house by myself and I'm just getting stuff done and I just randomly start singing, so don't mind me. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this. I think that's it for this conversation. I just want to, like, encourage somebody out there that, like, don't get discouraged with your natural hair journey. Your hair's not going to look like everyone else's in the world. But you just need to love it because know that it's bomb, okay? It's bomb. Like, look at that. You see the difference? But I'm not complaining. It's just, like, 
she does whatever she wants to do and she looks amazing this side is actually more defined than the other side in my hair i don't know if you guys have that like there's always one side that's a lot more defined than the others like look you see this side is already like frizzing a little bit but this side has like so much definition and then people try to tell me my hair is not type 4 listen <laughs> i don't hair type anymore we just we just done because like if you look at the back and you look at this these curls and even here this is curling up a lot this one will be straight I don't know why I just did that, y'all. I don't know. But we can condition that too, because you want to make sure that all of your hair has all that moisture, all that loving goodness, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the part of my hair. And just a reminder, love your hair. And don't be like fooled by these natural hair influencers that just be like, oh, my hair is like this, or my hair does that. It's not always everything. It's not always what you seem. Everything's not always what it seems. So just love your hair and really take care of her because the grass sometimes looks greener on the other side. And then maybe you try a texturizer because you want to get somebody else's curls. Don't do it. Just don't. Love your hair. Make it work for you. That's the best advice I can give. Make it work for you. Make it work for you. All right, I'm going to finish up the rest of this hair.
this is my hair, how much I lost. I'm sorry if you guys feel creeped out by it, but this is how much hair I lost for not detangling my hair for almost a month. <laughs> it's been a while. I don't remember. Yeah, it's just been a while. So yeah, that's how much hair I lost. There's something in my eye, but I'll deal with that in a second. So now I'm going to take the shower cap. I'm going to put it on the top there. I'm going to try to get as much of my hair in as possible. Just because I hate using more than one shower cap, especially if I don't need to. So. If it's easier, you can put your hair in a ponytail, high puff, any of that stuff. This is actually fine. Sometimes I would use two, but this one right here is okay. I look like I'm about to serve somebody's food or something. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This is what we're working with. I'm gonna leave this on for 30 minutes and I'll show you guys what my hair looks like after. Let's see if my hair actually likes this. I think it does because that definition is real. All right, I look crazy, bye. Hi guys, ooh, this is what my hair is looking like. We got a lot, a lot of water in it still, which is awesome, perfect for this wash and go we about to do. Feel me? Ah. Okay, let me just bring her down. Calm down, sis. You're a little too high. So the way I washed my hair, I like bent over and I had the shower head just like fall over. And then I touch, like I rubbed the certain parts. It's okay if you have a little bit of um, deep conditioner still in your hair. Because you can actually use that as a leave-in. And just rub it through the rest of your hair. It's like a quick temporary leave-in. You don't want your hair to be like super um, washed out and drying. Because then... It dries and then it's like really hard to put moisture back in. So when you have this as your leave-in, it really helps it. So. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed my first episode of the Deep Condition With Me series. Um, if you have any suggestions for anything that you want me to talk about, definitely link them, um, comment them down below and I'll be sure to add that onto our list of things that we'll be talking about in my Deep Conditioned series, okay? So thanks again for watching. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye guys. Thank you.